Welcome to Stay Strong in September. When you're reading a passage, if there's something that is really helpful and applicable for you, why not write it down on a piece of paper or card and stick it somewhere that you'll see regularly, like on your fridge or a mirror, so that you keep being reminded of that good word from God. Or maybe even try and memorize it so that wherever you are, whatever you're doing, it comes to mind and you can think of what that might be. From today's passage, one of the things that stands out is this verse. Maybe that's something after we've talked about it, uh, you also want to remember and stick that somewhere helpful for you to remember. Well, let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you that your word is living and active and it does convict us. And as we read your word today, help us to listen attentively and learn from this. In Jesus' name, Amen. We're reading the beginning of chapter 4 of 1 Thessalonians, reading verse 1 to 12. As for other matters, brothers and sisters, we instructed you how to live in order to please God, as in fact you are living. Now we ask you and urge you in the Lord Jesus to do this more and more. For you know what instructions we gave you by the authority of the Lord Jesus. It is God's will that you should be sanctified, that you should avoid sexual immorality, and that each of you should learn to control your own body in a way that is honourable and holy. Not in passionate lust like the pagans who do not know God, and that in this manner, matter no one should wrong or take advantage of a brother or sister. The Lord will punish all those who commit such sins, as we told you and warned you before. For God did not call us to be impure, but to live a holy life. Therefore, anyone who rejects this instruction does not reject a human being, but God, the very God who gives you his Holy Spirit. Now about your love for one another, we do not need to write to you. For you yourselves have been taught by God to love each other. And in fact, you do love all of God's family throughout Macedonia. Yet we urge you, brothers and sisters, to do this more and more. And to make it your ambition to lead a quiet life, you should mind your own business and work with your hands, just as we told you, so that your daily life may win the respect of outsiders and so that you will not be dependent on anybody. Well, we live in a world where sex is seen as entertainment, a way to manipulate people and get what you want, or a commodity to buy and sell. And this passage written 2000 years ago warns people to be careful about how they treat others, to not use them for their own advantage, but to be loving and thoughtful, to see the right and appropriate place for sex is within a marriage relationship between a husband and a wife. And so this is a word we need to hear today too, because the influences of the world come through popular culture, movies, the people around us, social media, all those things devalue something precious that God has given us. And so we're encouraged to live a life that is different from the world because we've been saved from that evil in this world so that we can live following Jesus in a way that pleases him. Let's pray that that will be how we live. Heavenly Father, we do pray that you'll give us insight and discernment in areas of our life that need to change, where we have not yet submitted to you. We pray that we will indeed be eager to live a holy life, reflecting the Lord who has saved us. We pray that we'll turn to you for that help we need to make these changes and that we'll persevere faithfully following you. Thank you, Lord, that we can turn to you for forgiveness when we fail and that Jesus' blood shed on the cross is sufficient. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a great day.